The sequence function lets us quickly create numeric sequences. You'll notice here we have from, which is our starting number, to, which is our ending number, and by, which is the interval the numbers will go by. We can make a sequence from 1 to 10 by 1, and there it is. You'll notice that there are defaults, though, and these are values that R will use if we do not input a value for one of these arguments. Also, we can switch around the order of the arguments and still get the same sequence. This is by 1 from 1 to 10, which is just a reordering of the arguments default orders. We don't have to put in the names for the arguments, we can just use the number values, but we do have to put in three arguments, not four, so this won't run. If we put in 1, 10, 1, it'll use the default ordering of from 1 to 10 by 1, and this works right here. You'll notice right here we do not have a second argument, so by goes to the default number, which is 1. If you only put in one number, though, it'll be the 2. So this will go from 1 to 10 by 1, and we see it right there. Last but not least, there is an additional argument, the length out, which controls how long the sequence is. So when we run this, we get from 1 to 10 with a length of 4, which is how many elements there are in the sequence. We can abbreviate length out to 4, and this also works. But one thing we can't do is we can't use length and by. Those would conflict, and we can't create this vector.